You're watching the Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. All eyes are here in Orlando at the UCF softball complex that for the first time ever, the UCF Knights hosting the number two ranked Texas Longhorns for a three game series. She gets the start here. She got a no decision in that game in Clearwater. That was a game where both teams had to use a ton of pitching. As the 2-2 is grounded to the Cody at third to throw to first in time to retire Henry for the first out of the ball game. Hits one up the middle and through. Base hit. One out single for Mia Scott. The Hatter maybe in a play that was a big opportunity for UCF to try to take advantage of a little misstep. And Mitchell draws the walk, so a single and a walk. All of that info that you just shared is the fact that going into the sophomore season, she's continued to find ways to be successful. She gets jammed here, pops it up. Aubrey Evans at second makes the catch towards the grass area. And out the offense he's had in his coaching career. So he didn't want to, he doesn't compare teams. As that one gets past Griffin, and Scott will, uh, both runners will advance now, second and third. So that's a big wild pitch he's had since at Texas. And that one is going to drop in for a hit. That's going to drive in Scott. It's an RBI single for Washington, and Texas jumps out in front with an early 1-0 lead. That's a great piece of hitting right there. Washington just driving that ball right back up the middle, but working deep in the count against Felton. I love that approach because then she's continuing to challenge Felton, make her bring something over the plate. But this throw right here by Janisha Rowe, too. Bullpen is up. This could be one of those games where every arm's available. That ball's hit to the deep left side. As Williams, all she can do is knock it down as Mitchell will score, as Martinez extends the Longhorns lead to 2-0. That's a good piece of hitting right there from Martinez, just hitting it right in the 5-6 hole. Easily going to come in and score is Mitchell, but this is why. Play first and catch, fouls it back. Texas offense doing a great job, just challenging Felton deep into these counts, even if she's getting ahead, they're patient and Texas is just hitting the ball all over. Swing and a miss, Felton gets the strikeout to end the inning. Texas though, gets two runs on three hits. Within so close to just small changes of some wins. Thompson hits a fly ball to left, playable as Henry makes the catch. Stormy is retired for the first out. Got out of my hands. Cody hits it back to Kavan, who will throw to first. In time to retire Cody. The negative is you got a lot of competition to face. One, two. Got her. Kavan gets the strikeout and pitches a one, two, three first. We into 2018, got to the College World Series five times. There's a ground ball to third. Cody's there. We'll throw to first in time to retire Maloney. Yep. A lot of dominance throughout his experience. Ground ball to short. Williams is there. Throw to first. Not in time. And that is a vintage Bella Dayton hit. That heals a game. Ranked 25th in steals per game average. UCF 1.76. There's runner goes. That's a base hit to left. And it'll be two on one out here for the Longhorns as Henry extends her hitting streak now to 10 games. Player, now an assistant coach. Played here from 16 to 19. That ball is missed, ball four to walk to Scott, and they're loaded. Base is loaded, one out. Now that is in the mix so far. It's Mitchell, who walked in the first, steps in. Hits it to second. The flip to second for one to throw to first. Double play. A huge double play turn by Aubrey Evans, Jazz Williams, and Shannon Doherty to get the Knights. <laughs> oh, boy. You might hear about that afterwards. Three to is frozen, a strikeout by Kavon for the first out of that Oklahoma State series to envision this is where we want to be at the end of the year as Ray flies out to right. As the catch is made by Maloney. Two up, two down. Postseason tournament in regards to just conference play. Jazz Williams grounds to third. Fair ball, throw to first in time. And just like that, the inning ends. And it's a good play there by Scott. There's plenty in the outfield here, too. That's the other. We got a party deck. We got dogs <laughs> running around. 1-1 one, one to Atwood. Hits a high fly ball to right. Playable. Chloe Evans is under it and makes the catch. And Atwood, Rick, you're now at second base this year. Is the 1-1. One, one. Hits a ball to right, but playable. Chloe Evans is there. 
to make the catch. Two gone. The head coach at Cal, Jessica Allister, was an assistant under White in the early Oregon days. Of course, now at Stanford. Payoff pitch is low for a ball and a walk. Now, Martinez gets on with two outs. Jimmy, the next few years as they go into the SEC. And they're only going to get better and better as they learn. And Feld is getting better as she gets the strikeout for Stewart. She's embracing the obstacle. Good friend, Kat Osterman. One, two. Swing and a miss. Nasty pitch there by Kavan. Handcuffed Griffin in this pitch. It's always the comparison. But there's certainly been a lot of hype with Kavan. And we can see why. Is that the liner to third and the catch is made by Scott? Help the Knights become a national seed and host a regional. As she hits a ground ball to second, Washington's there, throw to first in time to retire the shot. Kavan, perfect in the game. With a great staff here at Big 12 now, ESPN Plus. Working hours. Maloney hits a fly ball to right, carrying, but it's going to stay in the park as Chloe Evans. Makes the catch. One out. Payoff pitch from Felt. Ground ball to short. Knocked down by Williams. Throw to first too high. Off the ricochet. Doherty will pick it up. Dayton will reach. We'll see how they score that. But the Longhorns get a runner on nonetheless with one out. Job limiting them to any further run production. Keeping this ball game within reach. Henry bloops one to left. That's going to drop for a hit. An excuse me hit. And it's two on one. So an error and an in bloop single to left. Runners go. Throw to third is too high. Safe. And a double steal for the Longhorns. And that's some really good base running right there. Just getting the UCF defense out of position. You got Jazz Williams crashing over. It's going to be a foot race between her and Dayton. And Coach White is so confident in the speed of. Scott went two for three in that game against UCF. Got a hit off DeVoe. The 1-1. One, one. And she hits one to center. That's going to be over the head of Rose playing in. That's going to get two runs in and give the Longhorns a 4 nothing lead on a two RBI triple by Mia Scott. That's a great piece of hitting by Mia Scott. Just takes that pitch. Something off speed on the outside corner there, but so much power in the bat of Mia Scott. Janisha Rowe just gets that first step slightly even remotely in. Going to get burned there immediately over the head, and Scott has so much speed on the base path, easily going. They like to say, maybe a step back, or you know, maybe that's a fly ball out. This one's again hit to center. This one is going to be Rowe chasing it down. Tagging from third, a throw home is not in time as Scott scores on the sack fly. And it's 5 nothing Longhorns. And that's a really clutch piece of hitting right there by Jolie Mitchell, just doing a job. Knows the situation, knows the speed she has on the base path with Scott. All she has to do is get the ball deep enough in the green. She does just that. Just a lesser ability might miss those opportunities, whereas really good teams like... Texas is going to take advantage of every single one. There's a grounder to third. Cody will throw to first to retire Atwood and the Longhorns here in the fourth. But Texas adds three, and at the end of three and a half. Taking advantage of opportunities. We also saw it in the top of the first. Kotzelnik hits a high fly ball, but playable. Henry makes the catch for the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. Roll on in. I mean, her hands extended, extended enough. Cody drops one into right for a beats hit. First hit of the ball game for the Knights comes from Jada Cody. Career hit number 237. Hitters, which is exactly what Coach Ball Malone was saying. They're getting out of their plans and falling into her pitches. Chloe gets jammed, pops it up in the second base. Washington makes the catch for the second out of the inning. <laughs> and coaches that, you know, it's not a one game season. If, if he feels that way, but not, it, there's still a lot of games to go here. Ooh, that got away from Kavon. It hits Aubrey Evans. And she gets on, and it's two on, two out here in the fourth. Herman was my guest on this week's uh, In the Circle on D1 softball. As Sona Hallahan, uh, hitting here, gets it back to Kavon, who throws to first. And Sona Hallahan retired on one pitch. Teams. Seasons came at the end of against Oklahoma. Here's a grounder to third foul. Or throw to first. And it's in there. 
I had though. That play. That fooled me. They got me fooled. This one's definitely fair. Cody will throw to first. <laughs> Lively crowd. So he's 0 for 2 at two strikeouts. Gets jammed, pops it up to short. Williams makes the catch to retire the side. Of course, second year. Swings and misses as Kavan goes upstairs to get the strikeout for the. One, two. Bird slaps one into left. But Hayton is there to make the catch. Caton, Henry Caton, making the catch. Necessary dives. Here's Sarah Willis, as I foreshadowed, hitting here. Swings the first pitch, hits it to Kavan. We will throw to first to retire Willis and the Knights in order here in the fifth. And a dog to be a third uh, in the booth here. I be a third think it'd be a great idea. Expand on our broadcast booth here. Absolutely. We have dog days here at the Plex. Here's a comebacker off DeVoe's glove, and that'll be no play as Maloney, Ashton Maloney, will reach. We'll see how they score that, but Maloney. It was two for two on the night. Got her. Big strikeout for Cochran to record the strikeout. Longtime fan here in the softball program there in the outfield. Runner goes, but it's ball four. The throw is perfect, but it will not matter as it was. So two on, one out for Scott. We have to come back to Cochran, who will throw to third for an out and get the lead runner out. Nice play by Cochran, the sophomore. Making the play here for the second out here in the sixth inning. 2-2 pitch. Got her! The strikeout for Caitlin Cochran, who comes out of the bullpen and shuts the door on the Longhorns. Wild in a good way, right? A lot of fun, but very supportive of their home squads. Shannon Doherty at the plate gets jammed. And that ball will drop in the infield. A throw to first. Oh, in time. Heads up play by the Longhorns defense. Uh, Viv Martinez. There's a liner up the middle through. Base hit. One out single for Stormy Kotzenich. Watching BYU play Texas in Austin. As Cody gets jammed. Loops one into right. And that play is not handled. And a throw to second is safe. And Cody gets on, and the Knights have two on, one out. And you know what they say, hitting is contagious. Jada Cody gets fisted on that one, too, just taking it the other way, but finds success down the right field line. That was a great effort by Washington down the right field line, just unable to come up with it, but making the diving attempt there. Which is inside, if you can take that ball and hit it opposite field, it's a good day. Cody to left, a sliding catch is made by Dayton, who slides into that field turf in foul territory. Those are getting stronger defensively by the week as Aubrey Evans hits a deep fly ball to center, but playable as Henry makes the catch and ends the night. Runs with 11, matching her home run total from last year as a freshman. She swigs, hits a fly ball to right. Chloe Evans is under it and makes the catch. And Atwood, 0 for 4 now tonight. It was that hitter for UCF for the Texas lineup. Alyssa Washington gets hit by a pitch as Cochran goes inside. And Washington gets on. So Comparable to. Bates first great shortstop at Washington, part of their staff now. There's a ground ball to second. Aubrey flips the second for one. Williams throws the first in time. Four, six, three, double play. Second double play turned by that combo tonight. One, two from Teagan. And that's ball to the right side. What a play by Washington with the out. An incredible play by Alyssa Washington, who just absolutely, or did she rob? Adams had two RBIs, had three RBIs against Texas in 2022, but she grounds out to short here as Martinez throws to first. And the Knights are down to the last out, so. It is a matter of adjustments. Here's a ball to the infield. It'll be easily a hit for Burge as Scott holds on to the ball. Infield hit for Katie Burge. With Clean up for the rest of the series. And Willis with a base hit to left field. Willis says, hold on here. She gets a hit. And it's two on, two out here for the Knights in the seventh. Ball pitch. Low ball four, and the bases are now loaded here with two outs. A walk by Searcy. 
There's the nice here. Getting back in here. And Stormy lines one to center, but right to the center fielder, Keaton Henry, who makes the catch. And the Texas Longhorns hold on and take game one of this three-game series here in the Big 12 by a final score of five to nothing. Tegan, Tove, uh, Tegan gets the.